Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Medieval Buildings. So it's a nice kind of asset and just keep in mind that it does only describe itself as buildings. So just keep that in mind like I say when we go to the pre-made scene. Yes it's got a pre-made scene, I love pre-made scenes. So the quality I think is fairly decent considering it's a free asset. Uh, you just have to look at it and think that's not half bad quite nice uh, we get some extras as well as the um assets in this so we get what one two three four five six seven um buildings plus we get a little shed or outhouse or something we get um all this texture in the for the terrain we get this little staging area with the nooses fences a well this little stable thing over here. So extras wise, there is a heck of a lot more than what it says there is. Little wagon as well. Trees, but I don't think the trees are of much use just because of the way they're set out. But that's not neither here nor there because we weren't expecting something like that anyway. So quantity wise, there is a lot to choose from. You get the buildings that it says you get, plus you get all the extras. Uh, go back to the quality. I kind of like the quality. I think it's fairly decent considering it is free. And one thing I do particularly like with this asset is if I go in here, it's fully built, rendered, textured inside both floors. That is incredibly handy because it means that we can literally go inside these buildings really easily. I mean, let's take this one, for example. We can see it doesn't exactly have anything inside. But what you have to keep in mind is that this particular building doesn't actually have a door. This one is meant to be, uh, how do we say it, kind of locked up, it's abandoned. However, the ones that do have proper doors do have an inside, which is really handy. This one, again, proper door, it's got an inside. But what it also means is this door, we can actually rotate it, move it, so you can go inside the building. Perfect, I like that quite a lot. So quality wise, I think it works out very, very nice. Plus we get a nice skybox as well. Um, so if I go to the game view, we can see with a little bit of post-processing uh, and the animation that comes pre-built into the scene, we can see a little bit more color to it, a little bit more life. And we'll check this out now. I press play, we're just waiting for Unity to, uh, to kick in. There we go. So, as I always say, post-processing, it's always nice to have a little bit on there. If you go for a mobile game, maybe not quite so much, but generally, it doesn't look half bad. You could use this and prototype your own game quite easily. Even if you don't need all of the assets in this, you're likely to find something which will prove useful, whether it is just a barrel, whether it is just a fence, whether it is just this wagon that's just shown up at the side here you'll probably find something useful within this. Um, versatility. Well, it is very versatile because you can manipulate this however you want or need to. As I always do with these assets, you can take the materials that you get, take, uh, take the, for example, normal map and just run wild with it and see how it looks. Same with the wood on there. You could even change the color if you wanted to for some bizarre reason, just have kind of red bricks or something. So it's obviously very customizable and very versatile. We even get these little lights here. So all you need to do is just add a little point light in there and add a little candle and there you go. There is so much you can do with this asset. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Size wise, it is just under 600 meg, which is quite large considering, but just keep that in mind when you are, you know, downloading it for a huge project already. It may be a little bit too much for you, but 600 megabytes is ne neither here nor there. Like I say, you can probably prototype an entire game just with this one asset. You just add the code or whatever, some extra assets, and you've got something. And it is free. Free assets are always at least worth a look to see if they are any good for you. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And yeah, I'd recommend this. I'm pretty sure you probably got that early on in this review that yes, I would recommend this. Uh, even if you are just going for a prototype, even if you just want to build a little village, just try it. This is probably going to work quite well in most uh, fantasy style RPGs or anything like that. A nice little village to come across upon your travels. Yes, I would recommend it.
So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Let me know in the comments below whether you like it, whether you don't like it, uh, what could be improved, or just general comments about it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well whether it's free or paid, because I'd love to check it out. And don't forget, click subscribe and smash that bell icon to stay up to date with everything about video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.